Hello, this is Roger, Low Vision Product Manager here at Humanware. In this video, I'm going to show you how to unbox, set up, and then connect a Bluetooth mouse or a Bluetooth keyboard, both of which we sell with our Prodigy for Windows Complete Kit, but they're also available as accessories. So you could use them with any uh, Windows-based computer that allows Bluetooth connections. The nice thing about the Bluetooth is there's no wires involved. So let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing of the mouse first. I'll set the keyboard aside over here and we'll work with the mouse to start with here. So uh, this has a seal on the top uh, that will need to be cut. I have pre-cut mine to make our video go a little bit quicker. And then we need to slide the mouse out of the box. Now it does come packaged in a uh, fabric protective case. Uh, there is a quick start guide in there as well if you'd like that, but you're watching the video, so perhaps you won't need that. We'll slide this out of the pouch and set the pouch aside. And you will see that there is on the bottom of my mouse here, uh, this little pull tab, it looks like an arrow, a uh, black arrow with a white outline onto it. It's nice and big. Um, essentially, what I need to do is pull that out of the device so that my, um, my uh, battery uh, is connected. I can slide this cover off on the back here and take it out as well if I would like. I'll put the cover back in here. If you've worked with a mouse that's battery operated before, you may have seen this. We'll put it in place here. Um, and then there is a switch on the bottom. It is switched on. So as soon as I take that out, it is turned on. Uh, this switch on the bottom here, uh, when it slides to the on position, there'll be a flashing light to the right. And there will be a uh, little green that you can see below is green means go. So that means it is turned on. Underneath of that flashing light is a little button uh, that I will press. Uh, and that basically sends a signal to help make the connection when I'm ready to do that in a few moments. In between the power on switch and that button, uh, that is the optical eye that uh, allows the mouse to function uh, without having a ball or anything inside of it. So this mouse is now ready to go. I'm going to set that aside for the moment here and take a look at my keyboard and get that ready to go. So the keyboard comes in a white box here. Uh, I see a label over here. I'll flip it up on the edge here where I can see uh, the seam has a little pull tab onto it that I will pull back out of the box here. And then there's a tab that I pull out. And as I rotate my box back over again, uh, there's the keyboard inside here. So I'm going to take that out. It is in a plastic box. There are additional items in this box that we'll go through in just a moment. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and just take this keyboard out of this plastic bag. So I'll flip it upside down. It is sealed. So we'll do that and we'll slide the keyboard out. And there you can see the large print keyboard uh, that will be wireless when we have it completely set up here in just a moment. Uh, so let's set that to the side for a moment and take a look at the remainder of the contents of this box. Flipping the lid back up again, there is a spacer underneath here, registration card underneath here uh, if you want, as well as some basic instructions. It's got a quick start as well. Again, you're watching the video here, so you might not need that. There is a, uh, a cleaning swab in here, so if your keyboard gets dirty, you can use that to wipe it down. Um, always use... Uh, cleaning supplies that are intended for uh, electronic equipment like this. Don't just go and use uh, water that will destroy your devices. And then also in the box, I believe these were over here that appear to have been moved and shipping. They're probably over here, are the two batteries that we will have to insert into the keyboard. So uh, those are the contents of the box. I'm going to set that aside there, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, get these batteries opened up here so that I can put them into my keyboard. So let's get a knife here. And we will cut this plastic seal that's on there carefully so we don't cut into the batteries. Now I have my two batteries ready to be installed in my device. So let's bring our keyboard back in here. Uh, again, I'm going to flip this over upside down. And on the back, there are a couple of items. But first and most importantly, is the uh, to the right here when it's upside down. And there's a raised ridge here that I have away from me. You'll be able to feel it. Um, 
I'm going to pull on this little lever and lift the lid off of there. Um, and then of course, inside, I'm going to slide these batteries in. Um, they are going to go in negative end first, I believe. Yep, negative end first. So just like so, and then the negative again. So my positive is over here on the right. I'll place the cover back in. There's two little tabs on there that will slide in on the left end of that port. Click it back into place, snaps in. And then the, over to the left, towards the center left, um, there is a power on switch. Slide that, and in a moment I'll show you how you can tell that it's powered on. And then there is a connect button. Again, that will send a signal that tells uh, your device that you're trying to connect to uh, that you are sending a signal to connect it. I'll flip it back over. Let's test this. So if you can see on my keyboard, I just tapped this power button up in the upper right corner here. Red light came on uh, just over the F11 key there. So now I know that this is indeed powered on. So we have these two devices ready to go now. Let's set those up here. And I am going to bring in my Surface Pro. So here is my Surface Pro. Um, I'm going to show how to connect this these devices using the Prodigy interface. So I am in Prodigy right now. Uh, it's on magnifier in the carousel. I will swipe on my touch screen, although I can also tap the arrow in the lower right corner till I get to the settings for my device. Now I will tap on settings and we will come down in our list to systems. There's arrows, there's a drag down bar, but since I see systems, I don't need to do that. I can just tap onto it and open that up. Both of these devices that we are connecting here are Bluetooth. So I'm going to tap on Bluetooth setup. And this will take me directly into my Windows interface for Bluetooth devices. Um, in this case, I want to add a device. So up here at the top, you can see Bluetooth is turned on. And there is an add a device option here. So I'm going to tap on that. And it's going to ask me what kind of device do I want to add. Uh, device, first one is Bluetooth, audio devices, mice, keyboards, phones, pens, controllers, and more. So I'll tap there. And immediately I see the mouse came up there. So I don't need to do anything with that except tap onto it. Should connect automatically. And your device is ready to go. So let's check that out. I think it is moving around on there. I cannot see it. So I might want to do some accessibility settings to make that come in a little bit larger. Let's see if I can change my pointer size. Little added bonus here. We'll change the color of it so I can see it nice and clear and we'll increase the size of it. There it is. Now I can see it nice and clear on my screen. So little bonus there. Let's go back to our Bluetooth. Uh, so there's that device connected. And now I want to add my keyboard. So let's tap on add a device again. It's going to say make sure your Bluetooth is turned on and discoverable. So it's not finding my keyboard by default. So I'm going to pick it up and rotate it over. Again, that power was on because we checked that earlier. Uh, right next to that power switch, there's a little button that says connect. It's going to be very hard to read, but there's a little button that I will tap on. And boom, it shows up immediately. Uh, as an added device. So let's tap on that. And it's going to ask me to enter some digits on my keyboard. So in this case, it says 889, 889, 167, 20, enter. Your device is ready to go. It's done. So now I can use different buttons on my keyboard to navigate. So I don't know if uh, I think it's coming through there. Yeah. So you can see now I'm using my tab and my arrow keys to work through the different um, options in my screen. So my keyboard is set up and ready to go now as well. So there you have it. Um, all of the connections here are done. I'll use my keyboard here. Let's tab to that arrow, hit enter, tab to that arrow and hit enter. And I'm back to my carousel again. So uh, I am not going to install the software right now, but you can if you'd like. Uh, but you will have now mouse and keyboard access on your Surface tablet or whatever computing device you're using.
Hopefully you found this video to be useful to you in using these Bluetooth devices and in considering other Bluetooth devices you might want to connect uh, to your systems. As always, take a look at the description of this video and click on the feedback link there and tell us how we're doing. The only way that we can continue to improve our products and services to meet your low vision needs is through your informed feedback. Thanks once again.